Well, hi everybody. It's time for a Sinatra Lennon signature razor update. Uh, remember the America, America <laughs> razor <laughs> from Wet Shave Club? Yeah, they're doing the, the Sinatra Lennon uh, signature version. This one has the American flag. Mine's going to have a little Sinatra, then a Texas, the state of Texas, and then Lennon. And we might have a longer handle, but that's coming soon. And uh, I'll tell you more about that as it comes. I've been working with Rob over there at the Wet Shaving Club. And uh, All right, speaking of shaving, let's shave, shall we? I still got some stuff from Ben's uh, goodie box from the other day. Today, I'm going to use three of those products. First, the K Shave Works, who I've never heard of, Cherry Fougere. Oh, anything cherry is right up my alley. And Fougere because it's a fern. So this one has cherry, lavender, jasmine, rosewood, oak moss, and vanilla. I'm not usually a fan of fougere scents, eh, a little too earthy for me, but this I like because it's got an over, uh, over it all is just this beautiful cherry scent. We're going to lather up with that and then we're going to shave like with America razor and then we're going to use two different aftershave lotions, the Cella Lozione Dopo Barba, which is like a like an aftershave, kind of like cologne looking stuff. And then the Balsamo Dopo Barba, which is like a <laughs> aftershave lotion. Now, somebody said that my Italian is pretty good with a little bit of Spanish pronunciation mixed in, but I was doing like a like some hand movements. They say, we don't do that. Or well, maybe they do it over here in uh, movies when they show Italians in uh, maybe New York City, perhaps. I don't know. I've been watching too many, uh, you know, Goodfellas or something like that. All right. Let's shave. I took a shower. I did my hair. I need a haircut. It's starting to get goofy. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. I shaved an electric razor yesterday. Not proud of it, but I did. I mean, who cares? Just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> as long as it doesn't hurt you or somebody else, do what you want to do, okay? And I'm going to use my uh, original Sinatra Lennon. Speaking of Sinatra Lennon signatures, yeah, look at that. An old one from a few years ago. I can't remember exactly how long it's been. Uh, all right. Let's lather up with the cherry fougere. I love anything cherry scented, cherry drinks. Uh, I like, uh, we went up to Door County, Michigan. It's Michigan, right? Wisconsin, Michigan, dang it. I think it's Michigan. I apologize, I'm not good with geography. We went to Door County and everything up there is cherry this and cherry flavor that. Oh my gosh, it was so good. This was back in the late 80s. And I haven't been back, but I need to because everything is good when it's got a cherry, like cherry Coke, cherry flavored runts, whatever, and cherry scented shaving creams. Let's do it for me. I'm kind of sweaty because I just took the dog for a walk and it's a bit humid outside. So pardon me if my forehead, giant as it is, starts to beat up with sweat. Okay. So we've got a feather blade in here. This is the America razor from Wet Shaving Club. And this is second only to my Rockwell success in being my choice for a daily shaver. And uh, hopefully once we get the Sinatra Lennon signature version online, there'll be a special page so you know right where to go and I'll tell you all about it. Uh, if we get enough backers, I think Rob said 10, then we'll, uh, we'll make them. He said he might, I, I said, the only thing I wanted to change was maybe a little bit longer handle, like a little closer to the length of the Rockwell. So he said, we'll see what we can do. If we don't get that, that's okay. As long as there's a magnet in it. I don't know why I'm fascinated. I love that little magnet. I just thought it was a great idea. I know there are other razors that have magnets in them. Thank you for letting me know, because I didn't know before. <laughs> now I do. Oh yeah, I knew all about those razors. Yeah, the, uh, the magnetized ones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are so old school. They're so far behind Sinatra. I'm only joking. Yeah, I am hot. I'm kinda, I need to turn on the air conditioner. We finally got one of those Nest thermostats, because the old one we had conked out on us and we've got an Alexa and man I can't tell you how great it is to be sitting in another part of the house downstairs somewhere where you can't reach the thermostat and you just don't want to move you're too lazy to move 
Maybe you're in the middle of watching something. Maybe you're in the middle of dinner. Maybe you're in the bathroom. I don't know. And you can just call out to Alexa to turn the air conditioner on. Oh, magic. Shout out to the future, folks. We're living in the future. Alexa, turn the air conditioning to 75. There you go. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I know they're listening to everything. Don't have to tell me. I know, I know. I'm not worried about that. Oh, the AC is on now. See? I didn't even have to stop the video to get a little bit of coolness into this bathroom. Because I do have a skylight above me, as you well know, and it, you'll see coming up in the summer months, I have to block it with like a this really makeshift, you wouldn't believe how makeshift this whole operation is. This is just me with an iPhone leaning against the Gillette Heritage case. The Gillette Heritage is still is right here. I'm touching the Gillette Heritage right here. Anyway, the case, I can set it up perfectly. I tried with that, uh, I was sent, very kindly sent, um, a light ring a while back that actually conked out too. And it had like a phone holder and stuff, but it was just too much, too much for me. So just this, so anyway, I got to block the, uh, the skylight above me with like a, an old t-shirt that I like ripped into. And then I got these thumbtacks that I, I have to get on, I have to get on a step stool to get up there because it's pretty high. Don't picture that. That's, you shouldn't be picturing that. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. I need to go across the ground first. I'm getting ahead of myself or behind. Oh, I got a little nick down here. I got a nick with a razor. I'm sending it back. This thing's warped. Why do I always get the warped one? If you know that reference, let me know in the comments. If you're an uh, American uh, man over the age of about 40, then you should probably know what that is a reference to. What movie? It's a movie. I'll give you a hint. All right. I'm kind of all over the place with this thing. So the scent of this, and who makes this again? K Shave Works. Where are they out of? K Shave Works with an X on the end, dot com. Uh, oh, they're in New York. White Road, Boston Spa, New York. Oh, there you go. Good stuff. Thanks again, Ben, for sending it to me. Oh, look, I got a little... No Shave November here. Anyway, the scent of this, you do get that, uh, what is it, like oak moss and rosewood. You do get the fougere, the ferny um, earthiness of it. But that cherry over the top, so nice. All right. Third pass. I've still got three more items that I'm going to use from that big box of goodies. So wait for that. And then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go back to my old boring shave supplies. Oh no, what am I going to do? Oh, it's terrible. It's just terrible. I might have to pull out the old... Uh, that was weird. All right. Final pass, folks. I think I already did it this direction. I kind of did a little bit this direction on that second pass because I wasn't really paying attention. I was yakking. I was talking to y'all. Forgot what I was doing. Ah, oh, there we go. I only had one shout out today. Tomas. Tomas, he had a, a, a member of his family pass away. And so here's a shout out for you, Tomas. Hope that your family's doing all right. I know we had a member of our family pass away back in July. It's never an easy thing, that's for sure. So I hope that you are surrounded by loved ones and friends that can you can all support each other, you know.
I don't know, especially after this last year, you, you can get real lonely, you know? I'm blessed to have this family of mine. We all went through the pandemic together. Still going through it, I guess, technically. Still wearing masks, even though we're all vaccinated. Still doing our part, because, I don't know, it's, it just seems... Anyway, we don't want to talk about that. Got lots of little red spots on my chin. Well, that's the wonder of the human skin, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, you get those last little problem spots. Oop. Oop. Don't forget those spots. Check under the nostrils. Yep. Imagine somebody walks in and they see me doing this. Lots of things you don't want to picture going on in this bathroom. <laughs> Between the skylight and me up on a scaffold and, uh, oh boy. Anyway, all right, that's the final pass. Cold water and then some cella. And actually, these are the last two cella products that I haven't used yet. I still wish that they smelled like that almond cherry scent, like the red cella does. Oh. These smell fine. They're not my favorite. That may be why I've waited to use them last or just because I did, just waited to use them last. <laughs> didn't think about it too much. So what I'm going to do, like I did last time, yeah, I'll put on the balm first. Aftershave balm, anti-irritation. Oh, al burro de carité. Oh man, that one, I don't know. I'm not sure. Please let me <laughs> type out the phonetic pronunciation of that. Here we go. Just a little bit. That's about that much. That's good. What does this smell like? Hmm. It smells more like a cologne sort of scent. Rather than a soap, you know? So this is not my favorite because it's a little too cologne for me. Is that a word? Cologne? Baloney. More like it. So this is not my favorite one. I probably wouldn't use this again because it's a little too much like uh, a cologne scent. And I'm not big on that. I'm more like on the soaps or the, the natural scents like, you know, like peppermint or, uh, you know, something like that or cherry. But when it comes to cologne, okay, that's enough about cologne. <laughs> now we got the Cella aftershave, which speaking of looking like cologne, this is this stuff in a nice glass bottle. This stuff smells similar to the uh, balm that I just used. I'm just gonna use a splash. This actually has um, a little, this reminds me a little bit of Dracar Noir, just a little bit. Smells good though. They both smell good and I'm sure there are people that will absolutely love the scent. It's not a bad scent, it's just not my favorite. Well, as I box everything up, a place for everything and everything in its place. Then I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't Taste that cologne smell when I eat lunch later. All right, folks. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for more information on the new Sinatra Lennon Signature Series razor. Going to be handmade in Pennsylvania, just like this one was. Uh, it's going it's to say Sinatra Lennon on top. And there'll be different options. You can even, I, we think, there may be one that just has the Texas flag on it, one that has the shape of Texas, and then one that has my name on it in the shape of Texas. And, but they all have a magnet. That's our guarantee. That's what I'm saying. All right, everybody. When it gets that silly, I got to go. Have a good week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.